Ben, welcome to Beckenham. Thank you. What a pleasure. What a pleasure. <laughs> Both my parents are from here. My dad's from Beckenham. Uh, he's a staunch Palace fan. And my older brother as well, so I just inherited them. But um, yeah, they moved to, to North West London um, about four years before I was, before I was born. So um, I was always an eagle in exile, really. Didn't know any other Palace fans other than the ones in my family when I was growing up. It was a pretty lonely existence. And what's been your most memorable moment as a Palace fan? Probably Hillsborough away. We needed a point to stay up. Sort of solidified that thing in me of when we really, really, really need to do it, somehow we find a way, you know? And maybe that doesn't translate to to things like the FA Cup just yet, you know, or, or the higher, highest positions in the league. But I think with that mentality and the way that we're growing, you never, you never know, you never know in the future. What have you been up to recently? I've been doing some gigs, trying to road test some of the songs and uh, I've been juggling that with opening for, for Ricky Gervais on his, his world tour. You had not think of Ricky Gervais start? I'd done uh, the Russell Howard and it had gone viral on on YouTube when, when the clips went up. Um, and a guy that was working with him, uh, with Ricky in, in live, live promotion, um, was someone I'd also worked with. And he'd been trying to show Ricky some of my stuff because Ricky was looking for someone to open for him. And he eventually sat down and watched my stuff, got my number off of this dude and literally just phoned my phone. That was it. No like official channels, my phone rang, I sat in my garden and it was debased. Pretty mad. That was 2012, so we've been working together for five years now. We, we, run, run, wild, wild, free, free. And we can't ever change, we can't be contained. Part of the saying is a chance to behave that we can't ever take. Asking in vain. I've been working in, in my sort of downtime on, on a little album of, of music. I'd put out an album of like comedy music, and uh, it really gave me the, the bug to, to do some serious stuff again. When I say serious, you know music that isn't full of jokes basically like good music and um i think it's the best thing i've ever written music wise you know it's very focused 12 songs it's sort of grown up in a way as grown up as, as rap can be i suppose you know it's when i started out as just like an underground rapper it was always just constantly just rapping about how good i was at rap you know and now i feel like that's just totally done and been done and uh, it's, it's more of an album of, of raw emotion, really. Just discussing my own sort of personal journey and, and the journey of my friends as well, you know. Get to this point in your 30s. People have got baggage, do you know what I mean? And I, I wanted to kind of bring together all of that in, in one album. Most of all, first and foremost, it's just a good, fun listen. Finally, on the back it's got the five boroughs yes. of South London. Yes. Although you're a North Londoner. Oh, I have it in my we... blood. I have Lewisham in my blood. No question, my mum's from there and my dad's from Bromley, so. There you go. Yeah. So, yeah, if it feels like it's a, it's a connection, I'm just the next generation. I'm, I'm, like, I'm like the future of Palace fans, you know? Like when you get dudes who aren't even born here and live in a completely different place and they love Palace. That's the future, man.